gonna build a fire pit. This old thing is there's a cat up in the tree somewhere. I can hear him. We got one tomcat that chases the other tomcat who is small George. He chases this other this other tomcat up the tree out into these far out into these far branches. I can't see him, but I I heard him. Anyway, this whole thing is about falling apart. It's just not much holding it together. I actually took it apart a week or, week or two ago and put some new holes in the bottom of it and some new bolts and stuff because uh, it was just all rusted out. What you doing there, Jesse? Anyway, gonna get this moved out of the way and probably get my first layer down. Jesse, you're you're disturbing the. Oh, they're having fun, I guess. I'm not sure that George is having fun. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get to doing that, and I might wait till the shade of the house gets a little farther this way, so I can just work in the shade. And I'm not sure how the wind, Jesse, I'm not sure how the wind noise is either, so this video may not work. About 80 degrees out right now, light wind. Actually, this is as windy as it's been all day, but probably just enough to disturb the audio on the camera. Well, there you have it, I finished that up. I actually finished it up this morning. I got all the blocks laid out last night, and I took it all apart this morning. The wind was a little, little frustrating, so I couldn't record much. Um, not much right now, but anyway, I took it all back apart and I used construction adhesive in between the each each row of blocks. So that turned out pretty decent. And something came today to polish up that fire extinguisher. I was looking for the other fire extinguisher down in the basement. That's where I thought it was. Couldn't find it, and then I got to thinking, I think I may have brought it down to the shop at one point, so it may be in there somewhere. And I think I forgot Jessie up at the house, so may have to go back up there and, and let her out. This is what I got. I got it off of Amazon. I was told by somebody that does some of this, use, use, uh, I think it's the brown bar, the Tripoli. And I don't remember which, uh, which pad to use on that. Never used anything like this before. However, he said it would, uh, it would polish this right up. So I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna open this up, take a look. Maybe there's some directions or something because I really don't know what I'm doing, and uh, and we'll see if this works. I'll link this down below as well, and if it works, you can pick one up of your own if you if you need such a thing. I think it's good for stainless steel and chrome, all kinds of pretty much any kind of metal, as it says right there for polishing metals and plastics. So I'll bring it back in here in just a minute. I'm gonna take a look and, and see what we got. Oh, what the heck, I'll just open it here on camera. Try to do this one-handed. And uh, yeah. Whole bunch of different, different buffing wheels. Those all just fit into your drill. And then this must be all the different polishing compounds, no directions, unless they're wrapped up in here, which I doubt. Well, there we go right there. How to polish like a pro. So once I read this, I'll be able to polish anything like a, like a polishing professional. Might even, might even start a business. So it says you start polishing by using any felt bobs, felt cones, blah, 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 except for the loose single stitched buff. The single stitched buff is a buffing wheel with only one row of stitching around its center, which, which, uh, which is that one. So any of the rest of them we can use, I guess. Purpose of the different shaped 
buffs and bobs to allow you to get into different areas, blah, blah. Insert the buff you wish to start with into any standard electric cordless drill or bench grinder and choose the coarsest applicable compound by consulting the compound chart. Find the material you wish to polish in the left hand column. Then find the first marked column to the right for the coarsest applicable compound. It may not be necessary to use all blah blah blah. I'm going to finish reading this over real quick and then we'll give it a shot. Alright, so I'm going to use one of these here buffing wheels. I can get it out of the little package here. And I think I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to start off with the brown, which is Tripoli, which that's what I was told I should use. There is one a little coarser, the black, so if this doesn't work, I'll try that one. Put this in our, in our drill. And, uh, and we'll see how this does. So far, not, not real good. I got it covered a little better now, and we'll see if that makes a difference. I'll try my other drill. Something seems to be a little out of whack here. I think I think it's gonna kind of kind of work, but it's gonna take a long time to get uh, get this whole thing done. So I'm gonna keep working on this. I'll bring you back in here in a little while. Well, I've been doing a little work on this old fire extinguisher. I, I don't have it polished up uh, nearly as good as I could get it, but it's a lot better than it was. I'm gonna keep working on this. This polishing kit, I think, will really shine this up. But as far as getting it to where it is right now from, you know, the whole thing basically looked like this top. This just didn't seem to cut it. What did work is what a lot of people were suggesting. And this is just one of those things in the back of my mind. I thought this is supposed to work, but I'm gonna try it and it's not really gonna do anything. But I tell you that stuff, that stuff really worked. It worked really well. And the way I used this was on this polishing pad. This came in a headlight restore kit that my wife got. We didn't use it. Well, we did use it with some some rubbing compound. Anyway, I'd put Brasso on this and it really didn't take too terribly long to shine this up. I mean, I spent some time on it, but uh, looks a lot better than it did. I didn't get it all polished up, like I said like I was hoping to, but I do plan on shining this up. I'm gonna hang it up down here somewhere. Don't know where, but, and going to, uh, and gonna paint the bracket up, hang this up on the wall. I go, I think it'll look sharp. And then the other one that I have, I thought this was brass, but it's not, it's, it's green. And this is from the same, same era, I believe. I looked it up, 30s, 40s, right in there. So not sure what I'm gonna do with that. Might try cleaning it up some, but I was thinking it was brass and thought that would be really neat looking, get it all shined up, but it's not. And the label's kind of starting to come off of it. Anyway, it's Saturday morning right now. So I need to edit this and get it uploaded. I told you guys there'd be a scattered Saturdays video today. So I gotta do it. They say it could start raining here in about 30 minutes. Not supposed to get much. But I do think there might be a small problem with the green truck, nothing real major. So that may be a video coming up soon as, as I may be working on that this evening. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already. Send in your license plates for the license plate wall or anything else that you'd like to send into the Fox shop. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.